Now, the Special Task Force Operation Safe Haven in Joss has handed over 500 illicit small arms and light weapons to the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons. During a brief ceremony at the task force headquarters in Joss, the commander of the operation, Major General Ibrahim Ali, stated that the weapons troops of the operation have maintained an offensive posture leading to the recovery of a large number of weapons. I've also remained resolute to checkmate all forms of crimes. As it stands today, troops have maintained an offensive posture, conducting several kinetic operations in the form of raid operations on criminal hideouts, rescue operations, gun as such, stop as such, as well as patrols, amongst others. These have led to huge recovery of illegal weapons, drugs, and stolen vehicles used by the criminal elements. The commander also used the occasion to dispel rumors that he is taking sides in the crisis rocking Basa local government of the state, calling such allegations unfounded and mischievous. Contrary to this falsehood, it is pertinent to note that as a member of the armed forces, I have sworn my allegiance to defend the country and protect the lives and property, properties of all citizens devoid of any ethnic, religious, or pecuniary sentiments. I have always emphasized my stand to be fair, just, and treat all equally. The North Central Chairman of the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons, Major General Amza Baturi, retired while receiving the weapons commended the troops of the task force and charged them to make sure illicit arms are mopped up before the 2023 elections. We also want to encourage you to step up the tide so that we'll be able to uh, recover all illicit arms in the society so that we can have uh, Illicit arms free society. The weapons consist of 40 automatic weapons and 477 locally fabricated firearms. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.